welcome to Billboard Blocks. Today we will discuss about York sac. Now, this York sac is uh, something which is usually ignored by many people. Please give sufficient time to scan the York sac because this contains very valuable information in itself. So, make a habit to give sufficient time for this York sac to get scanned in detail. So, today we will discuss in brief the importance of York sac in early pregnancy. So, first of all, this York sac, this is an extra amniotic structure. What I mean by extra amniotic, this is not in the amnion. It is not in the amniotic cavity. This is outside the amniotic cavity. So, this is an extra amniotic structure. So, this is the York sac which will be seen on ultrasound. What is here? We are having a round structure, round structure without any echoes. So, the internal, I mean the center should be jet black, jet black. This is very important. There should be no uh, increased echogenicity. I mean, it should be jet black and round, round and round. So, as you all know, this is responsible for the transfer of nutrients to the embryo. And if you want a growth rate which uh, of this yolk sac, it is about 0.1 millimeter per millimeter of growth of the mean sac diameter. And yolk sac is usually seen between 5 to 10 weeks. It is seen between 5 to 10 weeks and is in between it is up to five to six millimeters now this yolk sac should not be this is very important it should not be less than two millimeters and this should not be more than five millimeters so this should be in between two and five millimeters because if i am having a very big yolk sac that is also abnormal and if i am having very small yolk sac that is also abnormal so the cut is in between two to five millimeters so this yolk sac confirms the intrauterine pregnancy it means that whenever yolk sac is seen in the gestational sac it is confirming me that the structure is not a pseudo sac second is that it diagnoses at times we are taking help of yolk sac to say whether i am dealing with a viable or a non-viable pregnancy because if i am having a no yolk sac or abnormal yolk sac most probably i am uh, dealing with a abnormal fetus i mean a dead fetus so it diagnoses the embryonic demises and it predicts the outcome it predicts the outcome a calcified yolk sac if there is a calcified yolk sac it is almost 100 percent you are dealing with a dead embryo so make a habit of scanning this yolk sac which most of us are not we are not giving sufficient time to yolk sac make a habit to give sufficient time to yolk sac to scan so as already said too large more than six millimeters is abnormal and the specificity is 97 percent with a positive predictive value of 40 percent right now we are discussing the assessment to spontaneous abortion prediction now if we are having too small that is less than two millimeters of yolk sac the specificity is again 95 percent and the positive predictive value is 44 percent irregular shape mainly wrinkled with indented walls degenerative change abundant calcifications with decreased translucency is also abnormal yolk sac so see what we have to see in this yolk sac and the number of yolk sacs has to be equal to the number of embryos now let us put in one slide what is normal and what is an abnormal yolk sac characteristic normal yolk sac will have a size in between at an approx five to six millimeters but it should not cross six millimeters and it is up to nine weeks and if i am having more than six millimeters 
it is too large and if i am having less than two millimeters it is too small so less than two and greater than six is abnormal yolk sac second thing is the shape in start i told you that it has to be around around and round only if you are having an oval or a distorted structure i mean the yolk sac that is abnormal now if i am scanning when whenever i am scanning the yolk sac it should have an echogenic rim with an hypoechoic center it means that the center of the yolk sac has to be jet black and the echogenic rim should be there that is the wall of the uh, yolk sac itself but if the center is hyperechoic that is abnormal and if i put doppler there is absence of the diastolic flow in normal cases whereas in abnormal cases there can be some venous blood flow that means there is some congestion which is abnormal so give sufficient time to yolk sac don't ignore this yolk sac an abnormal yolk sac even if we are having a normal so called a normal in inverted commas uh, fetus an embryo normal embryo with an abnormal yolk sac is having very high chances that i will be losing that fetus so not only to scan the embryo with a pulsating heartbeat no please focus on to the yolk sac also and see whether your yolk sac is normal or abnormal and label if it is abnormal so that your consultant whosoever is treating the patient will get on the toes uh, not uh, to give the report with the yolk sac only so make a habit to give with a report of yolk sac if it is having an abnormal finding your consultant will get alert and will take the necessary precaution measures to patient so i hope that you are getting benefited by these vlogs see you next time thank you very much for more details of our courses you can visit our uh, website or you can call our helpline number thank you very much